Hello everyone. We have started Q basic in the last class. So today I am going to tell you uh, something in detail of Q basic. So I will tell you today how to take input, which is very important. And after that, uh, I'll tell you uh, your if then uh, else statement. So today we will be covering up these two things and before I start, do like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel Alpha Basics. And today I will be showing you everything in the computer uh, which, uh, which will be more clear to you. Okay, so let us begin. Okay, now I will show you a simple uh, program and I will take input of two numbers and store it in another variable and display it. So see first CLS for clearing the screen. So for taking input your syntax is or the command is you have to write input. Now input A, A is the variable where I will store the value. Now again I am taking another uh, variable input B hmm. and as I have told you I will store the addition in the variable C. So let C is equal to A plus B and uh, I will print the result. So print C and your end now just run it. So see, I am providing 5 as the first number, 6 as the second number and see the result is showing 11. Hmm. So now this is a very very simple method. Now I will make changes so that it will become more easier. Now see in this screen, now it would have been better if uh, uh, in the screen it is flashed enter a number or then you would have entered 5 then again uh, in the screen it would have asked enter another number then it would have uh, you would have entered 6 and uh, like simple it is printing 11 so it would have been better that uh, if it is printed like this the sum of two numbers is 11 so now I will make changes and it would become more user friendly. So in the same program, I will make changes and one more thing, uh, uh, there is another command which is rem. So uh, just I will write, write, uh, suppose I am writing addition of two numbers. Hmm. This is not an executable line. Uh, input. Now see what I am writing. Enter. I am writing enter first number. And where I will store it, I will store in the variable a. Now second input enters second number uh, where I will store it in the variable b. Now I will store the addition of a and b in the variable c. So Uh, now I will print the result, print sum of two numbers is, where is uh, your result in the variable C. Now end it. Now run it, see, enter first number. So it is much more uh, easier enter second number 7, the sum of two numbers is 12, clear. Now 
I will show you how to take entry of a string. So, CLS for clearing the screen. Rem, uh, just I am writing uh, uh, name, just I am writing name. Okay, again I am telling Rem will not be flashed in your output screen. Rem is for just if a user uh, opens this file, he will uh, know that what the program is about. Hmm. So, now I am uh, writing input how you take uh, a entry with a dollar sign. So, print d dollar and end. Now, see if I will run, see. So, I am writing suppose H A R R Y Harry. So, it is printing Harry. Now, again, you can make changes like input what you will write, enter a name hmm. so that user can understand in the runtime and print what I am printing uh, name is and where the name is in the dollar. Hmm. Now run, see enter a name. So, it is more user friendly. So, now write Harry, see name is Harry. Okay. So, this is I have shown you uh, two simple program, one with uh, taking input of numbers and another taking input with your string. Now, I will show you a simple program on uh, calculating of simple interest. So, first is your CLS, then in a RAM I am writing uh, calculation of simple interest. So, I need to take input, enter principle. I will take the entry in P, input, enter rate. I will take the input in R, input, enter time, I will take the input in T, then I uh, will store it. So, let S or uh, write I for interest I equals what is the formula for calculating uh, your simple interest it is P into R into T by 100 and now I will print the result print. So, what I will write simple interest is equal to uh, where it is in the variable i and end. So, now I will run the program. So, enter principle. So, I am writing 1000. 
enter rate so i am giving 10 percent hmm. enter time i am giving two years so your simple interest is 200 okay clear a program with if then and in the next program i will do with if then else okay if then is used just to work out your true condition and when we will use if then else then we will cover up your true condition what to do if that uh, a condition is true and what to do if the condition is false that will come under else part so uh, let us first do with if then so i will take input enter first number and i am storing it in the variable a input enter second number i am storing it in b and now see i am writing if if a greater than b then print first number is greater and your first number is a and then you have to write end if and end hmm. so this is the complete syntax if this if then you have to write the condition then then and this is the true part if a is greater, this is the greater than b then if it is true then i am printing and then you have to close the if with end if now run it as usual f5 so enter first number so i am entering 9 enter second number i am entering 6 so 9 is greater so it is printing number first number is greater is it clear now see what happens again i will run it now see enter a number now i am uh, giving uh, 6 and second number 9 so second number is greater but it won't print why because this condition will come in the else part so i have written only the true case if a is greater than b then i am printing so i have not written if a is less than b that is why here it is not printing as uh, b is greater is it clear now i will uh, make little modification and then this thing will work so what i will do i will just add else else part so else part if a greater than b then if it is true then uh, your that first number is greater that will be executed and in the false case if a is less than b then it will come where in the else part so in the else part what i will print i will print what second number is greater and where is your second number second number is in b now again we will run it now see now i am giving first number nine second number six so first number is greater nine clear now again run it now enter a number first number suppose six and second number is nine so second number it should print see second number is greater clear so now i have written both the conditions your true conditions if the statement is if then you have to write the condition and then then and this is the true part 
okay this is the true part and else here this is the false part hmm. and then your end if so this is the complete syntax of if else and then end if is it clear now we will work out a problem where we will take entry of two numbers if they are equal then we will find their addition and if they are not equal then we will print their product so uh, first we will take the input input enter first number and i'm storing it in a input enter second number storing it b so if a equals b then what i am doing c equals a plus b and i will print it sum is and where it is in c else in d i am multiplying it and i'll print it print what product is uh, in d now what i have to do and if and end so now run it enter first number suppose 5 enter second number again i am entering 5 so numbers are equal so see it is adding sum is 10 again run it enter a number 6 enter second number 7 so now they are different so it will come under else part so product it is multiplying product is 42 this much for today hope you have understood and uh, if you have missed out my earlier video i will put uh, that in the end screen you can uh, see from there also and in the next video i will be teaching you for next statement so keep watching my channel alpha basics thank you